Hey, what's up YouTube? Spike Man Dan coming with the master plan. Anyways, we're going to show you a video on how to install your newly purchased aftermarket header pipe and we're also going to do the air filter as well. So stick around. Okay, so something I found out about removing the stock muffler off of the Coleman CTU 100 Sport, something very important you want to pay attention to, is something I'm about to show you. So let's see if I can get over here, show you. There's going to be a gasket that is attached to the muffler, the stock muffler. You're going to want to try to save that the best you can. and being that I ran my bike a few times, I managed to get it carefully off. As you can see, it's perfectly intact. And um, the way I did it is I used a very thin, sharp blade. Doesn't look like much, but I sharpen that sucker myself on almost a weekly basis, depending on how much I use it. But you're going to want a good sharp blade, if not a razor blade. If you've ran your exhaust, your stock exhaust, and all that good stuff. You're gonna want a nice clean razor blade. Just make sure you carefully peel that off. So onward and forward to the uh, further installment.
Okay, that completes the installation of the air filter. Let's go out and hear it run. has a way throatier sound. But damn, that sounds sick. everybody and welcome back to the final review on the Coleman CTU 100 Sport which I have dubbed it the Sport because it's now got its header I have yet to uh, drill out the jet on the carburetor and port it yet but I took it for a test run and I gotta say that thing is wow <laughs> let's just say the results are astonishing just with the header pipe on it alone and the air filter yeah buddy you could say that buddy that little thing scoots but like i said i've yet to drill out the jet and i have the drill bit they um uh, that's something i also been meaning to bring up and tell all of you out there watching this for the upgrades to the coleman ctu 100 sport if you order through hotrodminibikes.com they don't actually send you the main jet per se i was a little misled on their uh so-called inventory you guys saw the video I showed you the video it said came with a main jet well it turns out they actually send you this little thing you gotta remove all the stuff off the toolbox the stock air filter and the stock exhaust but no they give you this a tiny little drill bit to drill out the main jet so, not going to lie, but yeah, Hot Rod Mini Bikes, that was a little misleading, but thank you for sending the drill bit at least, so that way we can make our CTU 100s into sports by adding just that little touch of extra fuel that will turn our CT100U 99ccs into what? A whole whopping another CC, 100 CCs. So yeah, um, stick around for the videos. I'm going to be doing videos on uh, drilling out the port. I'm in the midst of looking for a tool or I don't know if I could do it by hand. There are other videos online that I have to reference and do all cross-referencing before I do anything to the stock jet. Because as far as I know, I didn't get a jet in the mail. They just sent me a drill bit. So before you do any drilling, Please research, research, and research. 
the heck out of everything you're about to do before you do it. That's why I have great performance coming out of all my machines. And I um, will be soon doing the Predator 212 as soon as I get done doing all the upgrades possible to the CT100U. My name is Spike Man Dan, always coming with the master plan. Thank you all for liking this video and thank you all for subscribing. And yeah, we're going to be doing more great stuff. So stick around and soon find out what we're going to be up to on the uh, next segment of my, my videos. Thank you.